it was crazy. I mean, it was, it was scary. It was scary because the waters, they were, uh, it was like a, a rushing river. It, it was uh, just powerful. Former Mayor Oscar Goodman says it feels as if it was just yesterday. He tells me what sounded like an explosion was probably one of the most frightening days of his life. And since I lived here in 1964, up until that time in 1999, uh, I don't recall a flood of that magnitude. Goodman was just sworn in on his first term as mayor that year and says he had no clue about what monsoon season really meant. It was something that we weren't used to and didn't know how to cope with it. Meteorologists call the storm a 100-year flood, meaning an event that has a 1% chance of being equaled or exceeded in any given year, something Clark County Commissioner Larry Brown vividly remembers. What, what was remarkable was the intensity. At the time of the 99 floods, he was working with the Regional Flood Control District. So you saw literally the entire mobile home unit being swept into the floodwaters. There were parts in our system that uh, we were getting two and a half inches of rain in a two-hour window by our gauges. That's over half of the annual rainfall in two hours. And a lot of the things that were never seen before occurred that day. It was widespread. It was valley-wide. And there were, there were hundreds of rescues. Uh, there was helicopter rescues. Uh, uh, a firefighting unit at the city got stuck. Both Brown and Goodman say we've come a long way. We're in much better shape today than we were 20 years ago. And I think our community has become far more educated on the dangerous flood. Uh, we learned during the monsoon season here to be very, very careful. And when they give you a warning on TV and tell you not to go out because it's a, a, a possibility that floods will be, uh, take place here, listen to it.